Welcome back to Let's Play Halo 2 Anniversary. I'm Burning Dog Face, and once again we're on the menu because I had a thing to tell you guys, because I keep forgetting. Um... Halo 3! It was the first time the Master Chief appeared on the Xbox 360 console. But he was not the first Spartan to appear on the Xbox 360 console. See, uh, it was either a launch title or damn close to it, but one of the really early titles before Halo 3's release in 2007 was a 1v1 fighting game called Dead or Alive 4. And, uh, one of the characters in Dead or Alive 4 was a Spartan 2 named Nicole458. Yes, Nicole is an unlockable guest character in Dead or Alive 4. Her story is that she was on board Nassau Station, an orbital defense platform around Earth, uh, visually designed to look like uh, Cairo Station from Halo 2, and uh, the whole station got sucked into a dimensional distortion and pulled back to the early 21st century. Uh... Realizing that, uh, being back in time, she could cause all manner of fuckery to history, she, uh, stays on board the station and fights anyone who tries to get on board with non-lethal hand-to-hand combat, rather than just obliterating them with her full strength. You know, just in case they're, like, the grandfather of the savior of the world or something. Uh... She has a, a, an uppercut move called the Pillar of Autumn, which is one of my favorite things about her. And although she is not considered canon to the Dead or Alive storyline, uh, there have actually been references to, at the very least, Nicole 458 existing as a person in the Halo lore, if not, you know, traveling back in time and getting into fistfights with ninjas. Incidentally, her dance partner here is uh, Ryu Hayabusa, who is also the protagonist of uh, Ninja Gaiden, while we're doing weird crossovers. So yes, that uh, game came out in uh, very late 2005, about a year after uh, Halo 2. So why did I tell you that? Why did I find it so important to tell you that now? Well, because we're playing as the Arbiter, and he's done it too! In, uh... Actually, I don't remember what year they actually added him to the game. He was a, uh... DLC character. But, uh... He... The Arbiter appears as a playable character in the unrelated 1v1 fighter, Killer Instinct. The, uh, 2013 one that's just called Killer Instinct. Even though I don't think it's a reboot. Uh... Officially, the character of the Arbiter in Killer Instinct is meant to be a combination of the traits of several Arbiters who have appeared in, uh, in the, the fiction. Although in practice, he's pretty much just the Arbiter, uh, that we know and love, Thal Vatami. And, uh, I very strongly suspect they said the whole thing about being inspired by multiple Arbiters as an excuse not to hire Keith David to do the voice acting. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Now then! We need to get over there. Put a stop to Tartarus. Oh, let's get out of the way of the scare. Let the man do his job. Or did you do the big blast already? Oh, those trees are there, and they're exactly the same. It's just, uh, much better lighting now. Oh, look at that! It's even a different time of day. It's all overcast and nighttime here. And now it's not. Oops, this one. The... Buddy, do you mind? Boy, that was stupid of you. I wonder who put that waypoint in my HUD, given there's no AI in my suit.
Okay, you guys are dead, so... Johnson, it's been a pleasure working with you, but I gotta go save the universe. That light is not there in the other graphics. Hmm. Looking up close, it doesn't appear to be a, uh... Uh, what do you call it? A terminal. Oh. Well, that's weird. Only needed to get me up here, and it'll be fine. What the hell is that? All right, all right. If I get killed, I'm going to be very annoyed at myself. Oh, God. Oh, I can't actually go that high. There's the ceiling here. I'm actually really disappointed by that. No! I was just trying to sit down at the edge. Well, that's dramatic, isn't it? Boy, we really are far away. I just realized that's a fucking race tank, not a uh, ghost down there. Also, fuck those things are big. I kind of like the smoldering one better. Right, I forgot about that. Hmm. Start the energy going immediately. Just in case. Tartarus! Oh, Tartarus! I've got a surprise for you! It's that I'm going to kill you! So we're clear. Uh, put them into the chamber. The chieftain must complete his holy work. What the fuck? Why is there a berserker off the bat? Man. Sorry about that. I uh, just want to make it clear, yeah, since uh, we have a room full of dudes up there. Yeah, the situation we're in. Uh, Tartarus wants to use the Index and uh, presumably one of his human prisoners to uh, activate the... Uh... So that's where sconces come from. Um... Obvious joke about when two sconces love each other very much. Um, yes, he wants to activate Delta Halo and kill us all. Uh, I don't think that will actually happen, given that uh, Cortana has a plan to blow up in Amberclad and through, uh, you know, proximity, high charity, and then through more proximity, all of Delta Halo. So, the reason we need to... Oh, nice. I didn't actually know I cast a shadow. The reason we need to put a stop to all this is because if we don't, Cortana dies, the Arbiter dies, Johnson dies, uh... The Spec Ops leader dies, everyone fucking dies. Except the Chief. But he'll be unhappy about it. Do not let them enter the chamber! The Chieftain must complete his holy work! No! My organs! Ah, fuck! Timed that wrong. Where is the other Berserker? Oh no, I've made a terrible mistake. 
I don't even want to know where that guy was, really. How am I meant to get out of this? Do I just... Okay. Hi! Excuse me! Monster, he says. Monster, he says. Which species has been slaughtering the other one's uh, non-combatants, by the way? That's an interesting difference. I wonder why they do that. Damn it. But Do not let the Arbiter into the chamber. Man. Well, then it felt wrong to interrupt the guy. I didn't know there, there was an actual guy the line was assigned to. I just thought it was playing. Do not let the Arbiter into the chamber. The Chieftain must complete his holy work. Deal with it. Over here! Now the other one will come running up. Because that's what brutes do when you kill all their buddies. Oh, hey! Fucking hell, man! Thank you for that! Yes, that was the same principle that powered the Warthog Jump animation I mentioned pa in passing in the first series. Uh, you kill a guy and you drop a grenade on his body and it'll set off all the grenades he dropped. Ah, hell. Gotta get up there where the ammo was. Hi! Wrong one. Whoa! Excuse me. Hell yeah! Armed for bear! Come, human. It is easy. Take the icon in your hands. And do as you are told! Please use caution. This reclaimer is delicate. One more word, Oracle, and I'll rip your eye from its socket! Mm. Is nothing compared to what I'll do to you. Carteris, stop. Hmm. Impossible. Put down the icon. Put it down. And disobey the Hierarchs? There are things about Halo even the Hierarchs do not understand. <laughs> Take care, Arbiter. What you say is heresy. Is it? Oracle, what is Halo's purpose? Collectively, oh, not another word. Please, don't shake the light bulb. If you want to keep your brain inside your head, I tell those boys to chill. Go ahead, do your thing. The sacred rings, what are they? 
weapons of last resort, built by the forerunners to eliminate potential flood hosts, thereby rendering the parasite harmless. And those who made the rings? What happened to the forerunners? After exhausting every other strategic option, my creators activated the rings. They and all additional sentient life in three radii of the galactic center died as planned. Would you like to see the relevant data? Tartarus, the prophets have betrayed us. <laughs> no, Arbiter! The great journey has begun, and the brutes, not the elite, shall be the prophet's escort. kind of shields are those? No! Oh. oh no! How embarrassing! Okay, so the process has started. Great! What is this? Nicely done. Oh good, Johnson's back on his feet. Oh, okay, I'll just do this then. <laughs> Fucking hell, man! That looked important, but uh, I guess not. Oh no! Oh, I'm down here now. Don't jump into the beam. That seems like a good call to me. How else do I get back up? That's worth a chest. Okay, that shut them down. worked. So if you missed that, and there's every reason why you would have, given that there's no subtitles and it's loud in here, um... 343 Guilty Spark is not allowed to interfere with the process, and I don't think he would be if this was his ring either. Uh... So... The only way to prevent, you know, the shit from burying the fan in this case is, uh... To kill Tartarus so he's not an obstacle, and have a human yank the index out. Before the actual firing sequence finishes, or probably more accurately, before Cortana determines that the point of no return is upon us and blows us all to hell. Oh. Well, at least I leave a beautiful corpse. Get them! Is there a shotgun here? No? Fine. Made it that time! Oh, wow. That's instant one-hit kill if you get close to that guy. So as, as dramatic as it would be to overcome Tartarus of the Brute... The, uh, sorry, not the Brute Shot, the, uh, the Energy Sword... You know, let's just, uh, lay- let's lay waste to this motherfucker. I thought I was gonna miss again. Whoa! I didn't even see you guys all of a sudden. Yeah, that's too loud. 
dog. I would suggest that we claim a similar remote. That's it. Johnson, oh. I'm on it. Hang tight, ma'am. Not until that brute is dead. Oh, I definitely hit him that time. I would not be so sure, motherfucker. Oh fuck, he's coming up. Or not. Uh, Tartarus, I'm still here and I still hate you. Fucking hell! I think that last one went between his goddamn legs. That does make sense that uh, Spark is literally incapable of causing damage to uh, the station on purpose. Uh. Oh god. I missed. We'll shut them down. Then how do I stop it? We'll take some time to go through the That's it. Johnson, I'm on it. Hang tight, ma'am. I'm still that room is dead. What the hell? What are you made of? Oh boy. Hey, oh, how's that for you? Well, I got him with that. Ah. Uh -uh. Timer. His shield is down. Let him have it. I don't know where he is. Actually, I'm afraid of your energy shield, my dude. There goes his shield. Yes! Rot in hell, you bastard!
That was close. What's that? A beacon. What's it doing? Communicating at superluminal speeds with the frequency Communicating of... with what? The other installations. Show me. Failsafe protocol. In the event of unexpected shutdown, the entire system will move to standby status. All remaining platforms are now ready for remote activation. Remote activation? From here? Don't be ridiculous. Listen, Tinkerbell, don't make me... Then where? Where would someone go to activate the other rings? Why the Ark, of course. And where, Oracle, is that? We've got a new contact. Unknown classification. It isn't one of ours. Take it out. This is Spartan 117. Anyone hear me? Over. Isolate that signal. Master Chief? You mind telling me what you're doing on that ship? Sir, finishing this fight. Look at all them achievements! Yes, that is normally where the credits would roll. That was the end of Halo 2. So I guess I need to find a way to get, show you guys the credits. Even if it's to just, uh, get a copy of the original credit roll from the Xbox version. Uh... Warrior, Halo 2, complete every level of the game on normal difficulty. What is today? Today is the 11th of August, so... I was looking for the ones on the right date, because they're not listed in order for some insane reason. The Great Journey, Halo 2, complete the Great Journey. Warrior. Tighten up the graphics, Halo 2. Complete every level of Halo 2, having seen it in both classic and remastered mode. I like that. Did I not do that for Halo 1? Big Green style. Halo 2, complete every level of the game on easy difficulty. Interesting. What about the, uh... Oh, I like that. Bite the hand. Kill the 343 developer in matchmaking, or someone who has this achievement. I always like viral achievements like that. I'm looking for... I don't know, don't go into that. I don't know what I'm looking for. I was looking for the, uh, the, the... The terminal achievements. Because I discovered something. All of the terminals are unlocked from the moment you get the game. I could even look at the ones I don't have here. Although I quickly backed out of that, because, you know. So I could just show you those ones, but I feel like it would be more satisfying, plus I would get an achievement, if I went back and found them, so that's what I plan to do next. As for right now, you remember at the very beginning when I said there was one thing I might spoil for you guys that I hadn't decided yet? That was it. The most abrupt 
unsatisfying cliffhanger ending I have ever encountered in my life. But I decided... that it's a point of initiation for Halo fans, so how could I take that away from you? <laughs> anyway... Uh, I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you next time on Let's Play Halo 2 Anniversary. When we look at the credits, I guess, you know, knock on wood, and then set out to get the last terminals standing between us and full knowledge. <laughs> uh. I'll see you then, Burning Dog fans. Later! <laughs>